Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 654. Treatment of Aging Skin. You can turn back the clock. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today we're going to talk about your skin again, but today we're going to talk more about what you can do after you have damaged skin. And usually we notice this in our skin sometime after we turn 40. We look in the mirror and go, oh, what, when did I get all those brown spots? Or that's a new wrinkle. Or, oh, I've got jowls like my grandmother. And, and usually it creeps up on us and we don't notice it until it's pretty bad. So those are things that many women go to medical uh, skin care, uh, either doctors or spas, to get fixed. So we have biobalanced skin, and we have many uh, very well-educated estheticians, nurses, and nurse practitioners to help our patients decide both what to use on a day-to-day basis in terms of their, their products, but also what treatment is right for them. So I'd like to prepare you for a consultation with anyone who's going to help you make your decision. First, you have to do some prep work at home. You have to really look in the mirror and look at your face and say, what bothers me the most about my face? So that's the first question. And then you need to write that down because you won't remember when you're in a consultation, it gets stressful, and so we get upset or anxious when we go to see a doctor or some other expert. So... So write it down, and then you should write down how long can I stand it until it's better? How long should this treatment work for me? What is the optimum time? Because nothing is immediate. Everything that has to do with facial treatments, except maybe a facelift, but that's still not immediate because it takes four to six months to actually heal and actually look right. So... Everything takes some time. So you have to, if you have a wedding or something like that, some event, you have to decide what time frame. And many of you won't have a time frame. You just want to get it fixed. Then you have to decide on how much money you want to spend. Because there are ways to treat every problem that comes along with aging in different price ranges. And I can promise you that the ones that are the least expensive will take the longest and they will probably not be as complete a reversal as something that is more expensive. And that's like everything else in life. You know, you kind of get what you pay for. Part of it is that when we treat skin with um, peels or hydrofacial or any kind of um, dermaplaning, those are not very expensive, but they must be repeated often to keep your skin in the same condition. So you have to add up what that would cost over time. The other thing is they don't require very extensive kind of equipment. Therefore, they are not as expensive for the uh, dermatologist or the health spa to do. So you're you're paying for what you get. Some of the lasers that we use, which are our most expensive treatments in general, are... Um, over $150,000 just for the machine, and then the rest of the overhead maintenance and everything else increases that. So the person that is owning the spa has to get their money back. So that's what makes those costs go up. So which should answer, why can't a laser cost what appeal does? <laughs> that's why. It's usually the what it costs to buy the equipment and the overhead to keep that equipment working properly. So let's let's use, I'd like to use an example um, of doing a skin retexturization. In other words, somebody looks at their skin and they've used their products for a while and they still can't get a nice, smooth, soft look to their skin. 
Well, the least expensive is a series of facials. Um, you basically are paying for the time of the person that's doing the facial and the products that they use. Um, they're inexpensive supplies, but you have to do this, these facials to keep your face looking good, most likely monthly, sometimes every two months, but it's an ongoing kind of an expense. It won't be expensive at one, in one lump, but it will, be, it will add up over time. The medium price treatment for this would be microneedling. That, is, um, that uses a microneedling device around $10,000, not $150,000, and it uses disposable pieces that, we pay, that are paid for by the spa, and there's overhead and time of the esthetician. So that is med that's in the medium bracket. And microneedling is very good at retexturizing your face and getting rid of, um, of getting rid of wrinkles and making your skin look smooth and tight. Um, it does have to be repeated periodically. So it is in the middle range. And then the third mo most expensive range to actually get the same result or better would uh, be aqua gold. Aqua gold is a um, treatment that uses puts Botox filler and if you re if you want to your own platelets into the injection, and it goes into a little uh, it looks like, it looks like uh, a ladybug like a half moon on top of fifty gold needles. And those needles are put in, pressed in all over your face and, and repeated over the areas that are the worst. So to improve your texture the fastest, the best, and the most long lasting, aqua gold would be uh, the most expensive treatment to do that. And it would be somewhat immediate results. So you would be able to have that done and three days later go to a wedding and look resurfaced. So that is one of those, those are examples. There are other examples. Some people, these are all examples that don't have downtime. You have to ask about downtime. How long will I not be able to go to work or go out in public or uh, will I have to just stay home and wait to heal? So all of the things that I just told you about are things that have fairly fast recovery from. And we usually give you something to help you recover from it even quicker, some samples of things. Now, if you have, if you have a lot of drag, um, in other words, you have a lot of jowls or you have um, a double chin or you have a, a waddle is what we call it, um, or really deep parentheses here. I've always had parentheses, so I don't really care if I have them. They were part of my face when I was young too. So that type of thing, you feel like your face is lax. They're, the first thing we would do would be to go dive right into a higher priced uh, type of treatment. So the worse you are, <laughs> the more expensive treatment you might need. So it's probably better to get on it right away when you start seeing changes than to wait until later. But we would use a laser resurfacing, we can do one treatment that has uh, several days of downtime, up to five, and that's a pixel treatment. It literally uses a laser to resurface the skin, the skin peels off, and it also goes deep into the collagen and stimulates the collagen so it tightens your face. It looks like somebody's just peeled off the outside of all the bad skin and you look fresh, and it is something that's done once or twice, and then you're good for several years. You don't have to keep redoing this. So, and the more you redo it, the least less often you have to redo it. So we stretch out the time after you've redone it maybe once, one, one time, and then in two years, and then it may be in four years, and because it really does improve the, the skin of your face. So, um, that is, those are the things that we can do with lasers. We also have a laser that has no downtime that does not necessarily resurface your face, but elevate your, your face. And um, I, I love that because I don't really want downtime. And that, but you would need more treatments of those to get the same effect as a pixel. 
And so that is something that we would recommend if you said, I have no downtime and I don't mind doing two or three treatments and I need elevation. That's all great. Then when we get to a point where uh, you've done all of these things, but you started with a lot of damage and a lot of years of not taking care of yourself, then we then have to go to filler, Botox, and Botox helps us not create wrinkles. So many people are proactive now at the age of 30 or 40 starting their Botox so that they don't have grooves down between their eyebrows and they don't, they don't have lines here and lines here and, and big smile lines. So the Botox relaxes the muscle so that it smooths out the skin so the skin's not pulled down into a groove. So Botox and filler, filler is, there's all kinds of filler and you have to trust your injector. Your injector is usually an RN or a nurse practitioner. And our, our person is Dana and she's an artist. So you also ha they also have to have that quality. She basically looks at your face and says, here's what I think you need. You need more fill here, you need more fill here, or you need your chin's receding, so I need to put some in your chin because that happens as we age. Um, sometimes she will put more around, around your lips or on the top of the lip to get rid of the smoker's lines or the water bottle drinker's lines that kind of happen at the top of your lip. So those are things that we do with filler, and usually that's after we've done the laser and we've done other things, except when people want to jump through stages and get something done really fast, then they can use filler to help fill out their face and, and soften wrinkles uh, and sometimes fill the wrinkles, but the texture isn't going to change. You should get your texture fixed first. Your texture should be fixed with one of these um, different treatments that I suggested. So this is why it's so individual. The whole consultation depends on how fast you need it, how much you need, how bad you are to start out with, um, how, how much better you want to be, and it's always good to bring a picture of when you were 30 or 35, not 19. Our faces aren't even finished at 19. They're not finished growing and molding at 19. So a picture of you when you're 30 to 35 to show your injector your consult, or the person that's doing your consultation who is supposed to help you decide on what treatment to have. So once we've, you've gone through all of this, then you need an action plan, basically. When do you get what? And then you should make all your appointments right then. Because if you don't, you're going to forget about it, and you're not going to get to the end, and you won't have the outcome that was predicted for you and you won't have the outcome that you were paying for because it's been stretched out too far. So these are, these are some of the things that you should discuss with your consultation um, representative. And it's what we try to do at BioBalance. A lot of people just say, I just want that. <laughs> okay, you can have that treatment, but what else, do you, you know, what else do you want to fix or what do you want to fix? And that's really the big question. And that's a question that you should relate to your uh, expert and have her help you tell you what you need and why you need it. Now, if you don't think they know or are listening to you, like say I went in and I had all kinds of problems, but I had brown spots all over my face and all I wanted to fix was the brown spots. Well, then that's really all you should get. You should get treatments for brown spots. And so that can be done with a laser. That can be done, but it takes forever with a cream. And sometimes it's not complete, but you, we can completely remove brown spots with laser. So if that's what you are bothered by, then that's what you should have fixed. Sometimes it's things that the, the expert doesn't even see in your face, but you see every day and you're gonna want to have what you want fixed. And then, then there'll be something else. When you look in the mirror after that's gone, you'll find something else or you'll be really happy and you won't have to come back to do that except for maintenance and to get your supplement, not supplements, but your products. So this is my advice as to how to approach a consultation. How long is it gonna take? How much do you wanna spend? What do you want fixed? And I guess the last thing is pain. Can you tolerate pain? Because anything with a needle or most things with a laser hurt, not all things, but most things with a laser hurt. 
So the, um, the clear lift, which is the laser I told you about that can tighten skin and lift without downtime, that basically doesn't hurt at all. So that would be something that would have no pain. But if the uh, laser that gets rid of brown spots, the IPL laser, feels like we're snapping you with a rubber band every time we click over the brown spots. So that's a little pain. Probably the most pain would be either the pixel laser, but we, we give you topical anesthetic beforehand so that you leave it on for half an hour and then we take it off and then we do the procedure. But that and injection of filler or threads that help hold your cheeks up like this, those are the most painful. And we, we have um, a method of using nitrous so that you can, like they do at the dentist, so you don't really feel it, but some people who are afraid of needles or don't want any pain at all, that's still not going to be enough for them. So you have to consider that too. Most of the things that for facials, they're not, as, they're not that painful, but aqua, aqua Gold uses needles, and so, does the, um, so do our um, microneedling treatments. So you have to be able to, to tolerate some pain. It takes pain to be beautiful, and we all knew that. So I hope this helps you with any kind of treatment that you're looking for beyond just... Uh, products that you put on your skin at night and eating well and hydrating and all of the things I talked about last week to make your skin healthy. Um, and I hope that you will be able to use these, this method to get through, get through a consultation, but also get what you want and be happy at the end. Thank you for listening today. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit BioBalanceHealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash BioBalanceHealth.